masking tape and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and cover up the uh, wings from this point and the rear uh, engine section so what I'll do is it's coming straight across here and match it up along with the uh, pitcher right here and right about there Go ahead and do this. Put it up under there. And what I'll do is use my cutting board to come up underneath it. And now what I can do is right along the outer edge of the wing. I go ahead and slice this tape right off, right there. Again, the sharper the knife, as anybody knows, a lot better uh, cutting and easier it is to uh, manipulate the tape here. Uh, what I'll do now is these extra pieces. I'm just going to fold it underneath here, like that, just to uh, cover up the uh, jet air intake. Because the uh, side of the air intakes are going to be painted white. Just the uh, the bottom is going to be the uh, offset colors for the uh, display aircraft. So I'm just going to come right right across and slice real gentle. I'll slice again this way until I go right around the ed outer edge of the wing here. And again, this piece of tape here will have to go here have to cover that piece up. So that being said, what I've done now is I've went ahead and taped this section of the wing off here for painting just white. And here, you have a little bit of overspray on white because this is still just the uh, this first uh, set of colors. So it's not as important, but at the same time, you don't want to have a lot of different coats of paint on. Uh, with this aircraft, I really don't have to worry about it because I'm not doing shading or weathering. Uh, this is a display aircraft from the uh, German uh, military, so you really wouldn't have the exhaust fumes or the weatherization like you would on a regular combat aircraft because with the display aircraft, they're going to keep these a lot cleaner, uh, shinier. So like the American teams will say like the Thunderbirds or or Blue Angels, they'd be a lot uh, cleaner aircraft as far as uh, for showing off to the public. I'm going to use this other section of tape. I'm going to come along the other wing now. Come down straight across. And after I put that in, I'll go ahead and cut it. Go ahead and make my slices right there. And right there. I'm still not really that great at painting. Uh, that's still one of my weaknesses on my aircraft. And I still have a lot to learn as far as the paint and stuff as that going. Uh, but I think after each one it gets a little bit better. But I'm still not quite where I want to be yet as far as uh, paint. So, cut this. Cut that down right there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover up my other section right here on the back side. This is more of a triangle looking shape right here. So I'm going to again use my inch and a half tape for it. And it's just going to be cut like a little pyramid or diamond shape um, for this section in the back. So what I'll do is cut across flat. Move that piece. Now it's going to make like an X. And like I said, this isn't what the final paint's going to look like. This right here is just to keep from being multiple layered. So you can see right here I made a little diamond. I don't know if you can kind of see it now. It's a little diamond piece of tape. And I'm just going to use it kind of as a reference point for later when I start working on this so I know exactly where I need to be at with my markers. So put that there. Like I said, this on the back isn't going to be perfect, but the main thing I'm trying to do is just keep the overspray out of my engine area, because uh, this will be like a, a royal blue or a European German blue 
uh, bright gloss. Let's see right here. So as you can see right here, the main thing I'm trying to do is just get this little uh, diamond shape here. Because here on the bottom will be another uh, a German emblem. Uh, now I want to do is I want to right here. See, you can already see where I started with the paint, where I got a little bit of German for the outline right here, with the separation of the colors. I'm going to go ahead and retape that again so that I can uh, paint the upper half without getting a lot of overspray to my cockpit because the cockpit took a lot of work and it's already been installed. So again, I'm going to use the uh, inch and a half right here real quick just to uh, come over and that right there just totally sealed up my cockpit area. So now my cockpit is safe from any uh, paint or anything like that. Now, what I want to do now is I want to use my one inch, or actually I think it's about three quarter inch uh, masking tape just along the side here, because still undecided whether I'm going to try and paint this or use a decal. Uh, I know paint looks so much better, but when your hands are a little bit shaky or you're not quite there yet, like I am, uh, decals can be the safer bet. But we're going to try and paint this particular one. So what I want to do this here come along with my tape, cover up this engine cowling right there, come right around, all the way down. So what you can see now is a piece of tape here, so you got the white going all the way down here for the sides, and then as my nose cone and stuff comes in, I'll actually curve it down, and my uh, few, next few uh, things I do here. What I'm going to do now is use my uh, quarter inch tape and go right along the air intake along the top where the other stripes will be and try and cover that up just a little bit just to uh, add a little bit to it right here. Like I said white is the hardest color for me to paint. I don't know about anybody else but the white's really difficult. So see right here I've now come over with the quarter inch and I've put it right here on the side. What I'll do here is I'll use another piece of quarter inch tape and put this one right here along the side too where I'll be painting. Right here I still have a little bit more to go on the bottom so I'm going to go ahead and Add a little bit of tape right here just to uh, cover up the white where the white is. And like I said, a lot of stuff will be repainted with the other colors. And then on the back engine section here is or was it has all coated in paint now. Um, I tried to avoid, as you can see, the wheel well areas. As you can see, with the wood still being kind of. A light mist down there, but I'm only missed it, and the sides are now all gloss white. So that will be allowed to sit for about eight hours. In eight hours, I will come back, pull the tape, and then allow it another eight hours to uh, 